Hey, this is Nick from Nintendo Dads here with a review of Seventh Sector. We want to give a big thanks to developer and publisher Sometimes You for giving us a code so that we could get you fine folks a review. In Seventh Sector, you start out with no tutorial, no backstory about who you are or what you're doing. You begin the game as a shadowy figure in a fuzzy TV and realize quickly you can transform yourself as a spark of energy into the wires that are connected to that TV. This spark has the ability to connect from wire to wire and also jump to other electronic things. Everything from RC cars to huge robots to smaller flying robots. It's absolutely crazy! In its roots, Seventh Sector is a challenging puzzler, one that offers puzzles of all shapes and forms. Math, coding, slide, and many different versions of environmental puzzles. These puzzles vary in difficulty, but many of them get pretty darn difficult. Though the foundation of this game is puzzles, it ends up a jack of all trades and really a master of one, which is puzzles. There is a bit of shooting, some robot chasing, and other quick controller movement skills in Seventh Sector. But if you love puzzles, but not the rest, there are parts of this game that might leave you frustrated and wondering where the heck your puzzler went. The environment is dark, dystopian, and gritty, with fun pops of neon color, set in a futuristic city that is obviously going through some turmoil. The dark atmosphere is amplified due to the music, which in part stand out but largely gets lost as ambience, along with the beautiful graphics and art style that really put you there. The story in this game is told by that environment. They do a pretty good job of giving you the bones of the story and leaving the rest for you to put together. There are special download ports to find that aren't necessary to beat the game, but sure help the player understand what the heck is going on in this game. Seventh Sector has four different possible endings depending on the choices you make in-game. The majority of the game is a side-scroller, and it excels when this is the case. In a few spots, the game opens into a 3D space, akin to Mario 3D World. The change is fun, but the controls falter here a bit, and it gets frustrating to control your character in these spaces. Also, a special note to parents about Seventh Sector, this game is rated teen, and it's there for a number of reasons. At first, it won't be so apparent, but further on in the game, especially close to the end, there is some graphic material that you might not want your kiddos seeing just yet. Seventh Sector is full of difficult puzzles, beautiful graphics, and sound that is well done. If you're not a fan of abstract stories told by the environment, this one might leave you a bit frustrated. The controls get wonky, but only in a couple areas. Seventh Sector will wire its way onto the eShop on February 5th for $19.99 USD. It will take you about 8 hours to beat, but if you're trying to find all four endings, then you'll get quite a bit more gameplay out of it than that. Hey, I hope this has helped you make your decision on this game. Signing out, see you later. Game over, folks.